Here's some questions on moments and materials, that is turning things, stretching things and weighing things. Let's start off with some that are good for GCSE and A level. 1. What is Hooke's Law? F equals KE or F equals KX. Force is equal to spring constant times extension. You might know spring constant as stiffness. 2. What is the unit of K, the spring constant or stiffness? It's newtons per meter or newtons per centimeter. It's the force needed to stretch a spring by that amount. 3. What is the tension in this spring? It's 19.6 newtons because it's 2 kilograms times 9.8 to find the weight. We're assuming it's in equilibrium. 4. How do you calculate elastic potential energy? There are two equations. E is equal to half Fe. And if we substitute Ke instead of F, we end up with half Ke squared. 5. What two things can you calculate from this graph? The gradient gives you the spring constant, and the area under the graph gives you the energy stored. 6. What is the equation to calculate a moment, also known as torque? A moment is equal to F times D, thus force times distance from the pivot. A-level people, don't forget that that distance has to be perpendicular to the force's line of action. 7. What is the principle of moments? In other words, what needs to be true for an object to be in equilibrium? The sum of clockwise moments must equal the sum of the anti-clockwise moments. In other words, no resultant torque. Don't forget that there needs to be no resultant force as well for something to be in equilibrium. 8. Where does an object's weight act from? From the center of mass. That's the center of the object if it's a uniform object. 9. What is the equation for density? Density is equal to mass divided by volume, or rho equals m over v in symbol form. 10. What is the unit of density? It's kilograms per meter cubed, or sometimes grams per centimeter cubed. 11. How do you convert decimeters cubed into centimeters cubed? You times by a thousand. That's because there are always going to be more centimeters cubed than decimeters cubed. That's it for GCSE. A-level people, hang around. 12. How is stress or tensile stress calculated? Stress is equal to F divided by A, force divided by cross-sectional area. 13. How is strain calculated? It's extension divided by original length, or delta L divided by L. You might say E divided by L. 14. What is the equation for the Young modulus? It's equal to stress over strain, and its full form, therefore, is FL over A delta L. 15. What is the unit of stress? It's pascals, or newtons per meter squared. 16. What is the unit of strain? Trick question. It doesn't have one, because it's a ratio of length over length. 17. Here's a loading-unloading curve for a spring. What does the area enclosed represent? It gives you the energy lost between loading and unloading, or the net work done. This is converted to thermal energy. 18. Has the spring been stretched or deformed elastically or plastically? It's elastically because it's returned to its original length and shape. 19. How do you find the Young modulus from this graph? It's the gradient, specifically of the linear portion of the graph. 20. What is this point called? It's the limit of proportionality. 21. What is this point called? It's the elastic limit. And we can see that because if we stretch the material just past that point, it's not going to return to its original length. 22. What is this point called? It's the ultimate tensile stress. Just remember that it doesn't necessarily have to be right at the end of the graph, but it is the highest point. 23. What is the moment here equal to? That is the moment of the tension. It's T D cos theta. 24. What is a couple and what does it do? It's two equal forces that act in opposite directions but not acting on the same line. That means that there's no resultant force, but there is a resultant moment, and that causes the object to turn. More accurately, it can change how fast it's turning. 25. What is the force needed to just about lift the end of the beam off the floor? It's half the weight, because we can treat the left end as the pivot. 26. What do you do if you're faced with two unknown forces, like tension 1 and tension 2 here? You take moments about one of them, that is, make it the pivot, as it were, to find the other one. 27. How do you convert centimeters cubed into meters cubed? You divide by a million, or times 10 to the minus 6. 
1928, how do you represent the total mass of an alloy made from materials of densities A and B? M is equal to rho A V A plus rho B V B. That's just the mass of the different materials combined. So, hope you found that helpful. If you did, please leave a like. Check out my other flashcard question videos. I'll see you there.